Hello, I am Catherine Plaisant. This is Anne Rose and Brett Milash. We are from the Human Computer Interaction Laboratory at the University of Maryland. During the past year, we worked with the Maryland Department of Juvenile Services to improve the user interface of their current information system. DJS handles juvenile case referrals in the state of Maryland. Their system is used by more than 600 employees to handle over 50,000 cases per year. When a complaint is received, usually from the police, a worker has to know the current status of the use and the previous history. With the current information system, this means using cryptic codes to access dozens of screens describing cases, placements, or reviews. There are summary lists available, but important notes and decisions are often difficult to find in deeply nested structures. A lot of time and attention is required to form a complete picture of a youth history. We propose a youth record interface, which presents a youth history in one single screen and provides direct access to the detail screens. In this simple record of an hypothetical youth named Bart, the timeline runs from 94 up to today, telling me that Bart has been involved with DGS in 1994. I can see cases, placements, assignments, and reviews. Here, each line represents a case. I can see that Bart was first referred to DGS for breaking and entering. The case was handled informally and closed a few months later. Bart was referred again for breaking and entering and for auto theft. Only one case is currently opened. The thickness of the line indicates the severity of the offense and the darkness of the line, the depth of penetration in the system. For example, the breaking and enterings are thin and remain light colors because they never went to court. The auto theft case is thicker and becomes darker when Bart is found guilty. The open case is a thick line because it is a very serious offense, but of light color because no decision has been taken yet. The placement line shows that Bart is currently placed at Waxter, which is a detention center. We also see a placement in a drug abuse program and a placement at Cheltenham. This line is thicker because the court found him guilty of auto theft. When I click on a line, for example, the drug abuse program, all the related information is highlighted. I can tell that the placement was part of the breaking and entering case and was requested by Brown. A click on Brown's name gives the contact information. Here are the reviews which were written. A click on the code brings the text of the review. The same way, I can get more details about each case and placement by clicking on the label. Those screens are all from the old system showing that lifelines can be used as a front end and acts as a large menu for all the screens. The top buttons give access to general information, but any critical information will appear on the overview screen. For example, here the mention of suicide risk. Seeing the overview gives the user a better sense of how much information is available and what type of information it is. Of course, this implies that all the information can be presented in one screen. Unfortunately, many records include so many cases that a screen is not enough. This use has about 20 cases. It is possible to scroll or page through the entire record, but we lose a sense of overview. To guarantee the complete coverage of the overview, Lifelines first presents the silhouette of large records by trimming labels and compacting the lines so they fit on the screen. Here, removing the labels was enough. I cannot tell what the offenses are, but I still get a pretty good idea of the number, severity, and duration of the cases I have to look at, or the number and age of the reviews I have to read. Then I can expand all the cases, or narrow on a time period of interest. Alternatively, I can explore with the cursor, and maybe filter out a single case to work on it. Lifelines can also be used for other applications. For example, personal histories. Here are the countries and cities where I lived, significant others, my education and work summaries, diplomas, and medical history. This medical record is another example. It shows consultations, conditions, documents, hospitalizations, and medications. 
Line thickness indicates severity or dosage, and icons differentiate lab tests from visits. Color or highlighting can indicate relationships. Here, each doctor has a separate color, telling me that it was Dr. Leishner who prescribed these drugs for neck pain. On a large screen, details can be shown and compared on side windows. For example, here, a lab report and a letter. To summarize, lifelines provide a powerful overview of personal histories. Discrete events, such as case reviews or lab tests, can be marked with icons, while status, such as open cases or medical conditions, are indicated on individual lines. Relationships between statuses or events can be highlighted and zoom, filter, and access to details provide a general visualization environment. Thank you.